Hey guys, it's Kate and today's video is going to be the sweater weather tag. I've been wanting to do this tag for a long time and I just got around to doing it. Um, if you don't know what a tag video is, it's basically just a video where you answer questions. So this particular video is just a bunch of questions about fall that I will answer and it's just kind of a way for you guys to get to know me better and also for me to get to know you guys better. So I will leave these questions in the description box below if you'd like to answer them in the comment section you can do that or if you'd like to make this video I tag all of you to go and make this tag um, so yeah that is it let's just get into this video so the first question in this tag is what is your favorite fall candle scent and at the moment my favorite fall candle scent is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle from Bath and Body Works they've been selling this for years so if you have not gotten around to buying it I definitely suggest that you go and do that. Um, it's just a very um, general fall scent. It's not anything too crazy. Um, it's just very traditional pumpkin, cinnamon, and a little hint of vanilla smell. Um, and it smells really good. It lasts for a long time. And um, yeah, it's really good quality. Um, and I love to reuse these containers once I'm done using the actual candle. I'll just kind of scrape out what's left that won't burn and wash this out and I'll use it to hold like hand sanitizers and hair ties and stuff like that. Um, so definitely would recommend picking up a candle like this from Bath and Body Works and if you don't like this particular candle they have a lot of different other candle scents um, and one of my other favorites is the pumpkin pecan waffle um, scent that smells really good so yeah that is my favorite fall candle scent. The second question in this tag is coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? And obviously if you know me, the answer is coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker and I love um, just the fall flavors that they've put out recently such as pumpkin spice lattes and um, salted caramel lattes and stuff like that. Um, I'm just a big coffee drinker. I love coffee. Um, but I just really love fall drinks in general. Um, so if cider was an option, I'd probably say cider as well. But I do drink uh, coffee a lot more. The third question in this tag is what is your best fall memory? And my best fall memory is probably when we used to have harvest parties in my backyard. Um, it was kind of when my church was small enough to fit everyone in my house and to fit everyone in um, my backyard. But now it's kind of too big to do that. Um, so we have to have it at the church now. But um, back in like the smaller days, we used to just have these really big harvest parties. We'd have these huge bonfires and there would be um, s'mores. And my dad would hook up his four-wheeler to a little trailer and we'd put hay in it. And I was young enough and small enough to fit in there with a bunch of my friends. And he would just like take us on a hay ride all around my backyard because my backyard's pretty big. Um, and I just loved it. It was my favorite part of the year. Um, and we would have like a chili cook-off and whichever chili got the most votes was the one that won and they would win like a gift card or something and my dad always won because his chili was so good. Um, that is definitely my favorite memory because, um, I don't know, it's just like really fun to think back and think about those times. The fourth question is sweaters or sweatshirts and the answer to this is definitely sweaters because they are a lot more fashionable and um, you can find sweaters that are just as thick as sweatshirts. I don't think you have to wear a sweatshirt when it's cold out. You can find a sweater that's just as good. Um, and they're a lot more um, fashionable and they look a lot better. Um, I'm just not really a sweatshirt person. Um, so definitely sweaters. <laughs> the fifth question in this tag is favorite fall fragrance. And my favorite fall fragrance has been the same for a year or two. And it is the... Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte from Bath & Body Works. Um, I have the little tiny fragrance and I just bought this because I ran out of my other one. And then I just got this big lotion because I ran out of my other big lotion and I got this for free. So um, it smells just really good. I don't really know how to describe it, but um, on the back of this bottle it says that the keynotes are Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallow, Creamy Sandalwood, White Ginger, and Praline Musk. I get the you smell like cotton candy like compliment every day and it doesn't smell like cotton candy but for some reason um, when it mixes with my pheromones apparently that's what it smells like and um, it smells I don't know it doesn't make any sense either but it smells kind of like my grandma um, my grandma Gloria she passed away when I was eight years old and when I smell this um, 
I don't know, it just like reminds me of her. So um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite fall scent. The sixth question is, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? All time favorite Thanksgiving food is definitely mashed potatoes because I, um, I don't know, it's just like my favorite all around everyday food. But on Thanksgiving, you can have as much as you want and no one's gonna judge you. And I love to mix it together with corn and butter and it's so good and it sounds so fattening. In my opinion, if you are the type of person who diets or who tries to eat healthy, Thanksgiving and Christmas are the two days of the year that you can pig out and cheat on your diet and it's completely okay because there's so much food that you just can't help it. So definitely mashed potatoes and corn, the most fattening things on the menu. The seventh question is, what is the autumn weather like where you live? And the autumn weather where I live, it's pretty cold depending on the day. Um, sometimes it's really warm though, like this week it's been like 70 degrees, it doesn't really make sense. But today it's pretty cold, um, there's barely any sun out, um, yeah, it's pretty cold. Um, there's a lot of leaves on the ground, I'm <laughs> looking out my window, there's a lot of leaves on the ground, it's really windy, um, and sometimes it's so cold that you need to wear gloves, and then sometimes it's so warm that if you're wearing a thick sweater you can just tie it around your waist. Where I live the weather is very bipolar, so sometimes it's really warm and sometimes it's really cold, it doesn't really make any sense but that is what the weather is like where I live. Question number eight is most worn sweater and my most worn sweater right now is this one and it's just really long, it's really comfortable and it's so thick, it's like a blanket. It looks really cute with like every outfit and it was only like $12.99 at Airpostel and I love it so much so if you don't have a sweater like that you should definitely get one because if I wear it to school or something, it's literally like I'm wearing a blanket. And it's so much easier to sleep in class when you're wearing something like that. What? What? The ninth question is, are flannels a fall necessity? And yes, obviously, flannels are a fall necessity. I love flannels. They're so comfortable. And they're very fashionable. Um, tying them around your waist is really in. Or just wearing them unbuttoned, buttoned. Either way, flannels are so so amazing I love flannels and if you don't have one you should definitely go get some TJ Maxx and Marshalls have so many cute ones um, I know Aeropostal has cute ones right now Forever 21 flannels are everywhere and the prices vary very much I got this one for like $16.99 which is pretty good um, because there are a lot of flannels that are like 30 and 40 dollars so if you're gonna get one um, I would recommend getting it from somewhere like TJ Maxx because everything there is not that expensive um, but yeah, flannels are definitely a fall necessity. Question number 10 is football games or jumping in leaf piles? And when I read this question, I was almost like, I'm gonna change this because this question's so like, it's just so r random. It's like the most different things on opposite sides of the spectrum. Um, and it just, it doesn't really correlate with each other at all, but I guess they're both like commonly done fall activities, I don't really know. But my favorite is definitely football games because it's just really fun. It's like you get to cheer for your team and you get to like bundle up with your friends and you get to like talk and drink cider and drink cocoa and I don't know, it's just like when you think of fall that's like one of the things that you think of. Um, and so definitely football games but I do love jumping in leaf piles. Um, jumping in leaf piles are fun but it's not really socially acceptable for me to do that anymore because I'm too old for that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, definitely football games. The 11th question in this tag is, do you like to go Black Friday shopping? And the answer is yes, I love to go Black Friday shopping because it's so much fun and I just love the atmosphere and the rush and just like running around stores, running around the mall and just picking out a bunch of items. Um, I don't know, I think it's just like a lot of fun. Especially because you get to stay out all night and just shop and you get to go to like the mall and just like a bunch of different stores and it's really fun. It's one of my favorite things to do in the fall time. So definitely, yes, I love Black Friday shopping. The twelfth question is combat boots or Uggs and I would definitely say combat boots because I don't even own Uggs and I probably would never own Uggs because they're just not really my style and I think combat boots are a lot more fashionable. Um, they're probably not as warm, but I don't really think Uggs are that cute. Um, so yeah, definitely combat boots. 
Question number 13 is, is pumpkin spice really worth the hype? And yes, 100 million thousand percent pumpkin spice is worth the hype. If you have not tried something pumpkin spice related or flavored or something like that, you should definitely go try one right now. Pause the video, stop what you're doing, go to Starbucks, go to Big B, go to Caribou, go to everything and get yourself a pumpkin spice latte. Um, or get yourself a pumpkin spice smelling candle, get yourself some pumpkin spice perfume, go do it right now because pumpkin spice is so worth the hype. It's amazing. I love it. It's so good. The 14th question is favorite fall TV show and right now I'm watching Boy Meets World which is a 90s show and I like it a lot better than I like shows nowadays because they're just a lot more wholesome and they don't make the parents look like complete idiots, which I see a lot on TV shows nowadays. The parents are really dumb and they don't ever know what's going on. All the kids are smarter than the parents. So I just like to watch older shows better because on shows like Boy Meets World, the parents actually know what's going on. They actually discipline the children and the parents aren't dumb. So I like that show a lot. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it because it is a wholesome show that you definitely like. The 15th question is, what is your favorite song for fall? I don't really have like songs or TV shows for specific seasons, but currently I have been listening to We Are Young and Free by Hillsong Young and Free a lot. The album has like 17 songs on it, so there's a lot of different songs to choose from, but my favorite ones right now are Wake and Lifeline. Um, so if you have not heard that album, you should definitely go do it um, because it's just a really good album. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoyed answering these questions. Um, so if you guys have any other tag videos that you'd like me to do in the future, I would love to do that. Um, I am currently in the process of making a Q&A video. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, you should do that right now. Comment down below any questions that you have and I'll be sure to answer them. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!